All right, this guy might be winning, but I'm not giving up. I'm almost there. I'm gonna get it out, somehow. Let's see how that goes. Custom modified punch. Might be getting there. I got it. That's why my favorite tool is a hammer. Also, I could get that stupid little guy in. So this is what I've resorted to. A jack, extra jack handle, bracing the hinge so I can drive that pin home that last little bit. I'm gonna call that good. And now you can see why we don't recommend replacing these pins if your car's been painted. It is a ton of force to get that stupid little pin out. Man, not to mention, that's a ton of force to get that stupid little pin in. All right, I'm gonna brighten things up a little bit. New hood emblem, very nice, heavy duty. These things are super, like, you can hear that there's some heft in that. Some new clips, just like so. Now I can put on the rest of the molding, along with some new clips, or rather, I can put on some clips, and then I can put on the rest of the molding. And just like that, we've got new body molding, on this side at least. We got that shiny hood emblem. And yeah, I trimmed down those boots as well. So what if it's patina? Doesn't mean we can't have a little bit of class, right? All right, so if anybody watched my Super Beetle restoration series, you'll notice that I cut a hole in the side of the tunnel and made a custom plate so that I could access the clutch cable easily people have been doing this same modification in off-road cars for years. So, air-cooled, put together this pre-made kit with instructions, and you can download them. The basic law you're doing is measuring back, measuring up, cutting a square, that then gets covered by this plate right here. So, I'm gonna get working on that. That starts by getting rid of all this old tarboard. I had to change the angle so I could get in here and actually work, but there we go. We're gonna come back an inch and a half from the firewall. We're gonna come up a half an inch. We're gonna cut a hole that's three and a half inches tall and four inches long. There we go. We had a long way to go. I didn't wanna deal with all that. You know what, this is a perfect time to swap out to a, uh, a six shooter. Yeah. Hopefully. So we've got a lightly greased new German clutch cable. I may have to do some fighting on that Bowden tube in the back. Bear with me. And now that we've got our Bowden sleeve pulled out, honestly, it's seen better days. So I'm gonna grab another one of these, but now, 
just like that, our cable's in place. Now, I gotta get a new side. Ah, old funny bone. In there. Now I'm gonna clean this guy and uh, put a six shooter on. Because why not, right? All right. Because nothing says budget like an $80 clutch adjustment nut. Uh, the raws weren't available, the black weren't available, but we still had one stainless steel left in stock. So, seeing as these are apparently pretty popular, I'm just going to install it. I know it's going to install because it's from Air Tools. So, let's see here. Yada, yada, yada. Clean. Clean the cable. Threads are full of dirt and grime. We've done that. Stainless steel versions will need anti seize. Fortunately, Pete includes some anti seize. All right, threads are coated. There. Oh, that's much easier. Obviously, it's a new cable, so it's going to be a lot easier than most, but even then, just the, the feel of using this thing is very, very nice, uh, as opposed to a uh, stock wind. Yeah. Air-cooled knocks it out of the park again with another one. Let me go test the panel. Everything's in place. We can adjust that properly once the engine's in, but for now, one more thing off of our list. Once we get one in, everything else will be a little bit easier, but... That's installed. Uh, I guess I can run a new accelerator cable now. Uh, looks like there was some uh, emergency repairs done here. Slightly greased accelerator cable. There we go. Now we got some work to do on the transmission kind of area stuffs. No time like the present, right? Well, all right. Reverse light wires aren't easy to hook up, even when things are clean. They're worse when things are dirty. I'll see how this goes. Never mind, I can't see at all. I wonder if I can get you guys in here to see. Hopefully you guys can see this. I gotta get this guy off from up there. There, got him. Doesn't matter which wire goes to which terminal. Just an open and closed switch, so. Oh, come on. That's half of it. Woohoo! Got it. All right, that's one of two. Half the battle. Give me the other wire, please. This one I can see, but it doesn't mean it's going to be easier. Almost there. Come on now. No, too high. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, got them both. Top and bottom. Not a fun job, especially with all this grease and grime and dirty and yucky. But, whew, that's done. Now I can get to swing axle boots. Yay! All right, for my next trick, I'm gonna pull off some uh, swing axle boots, I hope. I don't know if you guys can actually see with me all up in here, but. As long as I can see, that's the most important part. Wow, a hose clamp that won't unclamp. There, that'll do. Oh, that's got the old school kind right there. Those might be original boots, at least this one might be. And we're gonna get a little bit of water out of there. All right, well, what do you expect when you pressure wash it? At least it's not a bunch of grease. I don't know. I gotta get that guy off, but I guess I'll just come over here and work on this guy for a bit. I gotta get that guy off, that clamp, that clamp, these boots, I'll get everything cleaned up, and then I can put some new swing axle boots on. All right, well, hopefully this view will give you guys a better view of what I'm about to do. Do a little aviation sealant along this inside lip. Just a thin coat, this stuff is super, super gummy it really never dries out it's kind of like tar almost especially at the seam here if i can open it up and not get it all over my hands on this side probably not but I'll try to feed this in over here but it's not going to go underneath and i gotta get this pushed up a little bit bear with me all right i don't know if you can see i guess you can 
because there's no engine, no weight, and these axle tubes are pushed all the way down, what I had to do is actually jack up one side by the shock tower to put all the weight on this axle so that I could get the boot in between the frame horn and the axle tube. And now I can get it bolted in place up on top. And then I can do the other side. The reason why I like IRS cars, really, really, really not a fan of swinging axles. There's one boot done. There's the other boot done. Note that they're both pointing back towards the bell housing. Other than that. Now I'm gonna change that guy out. All right, I'm really tired of going in and out and in and out and in and out. So I'm gonna try and do this leaning over. Hopefully I'm not in the shot, but if I am, forgive me. We're gonna Pull out these clips. Nope, curve end goes to the back, straight end goes into the clip, or the throw up bearing. And there's a little bit of grease from over here. Take a look. No significant wear on our throw out shaft. A new sex made in Germany throw out bearing. Super quiet, just the way we like it. A little dab of grease, a little dab of grease. Do the same thing back here and here. Set that guy there. Some new clips. That's one. All right, here we go. You're in the groove, you're not in the groove. There we go. Now they're both in the groove. And with that, our new throw out bearing is installed. Clips in place. You can even hear the pedal inside dropping. But now, honestly, we could, uh, put the engine back in if it was ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up for today. I gotta clean up my workbench, it's getting messy and I like a clean workshop. Pretty productive day. I got that hinge pin taken care of. Got all the body molding put on. Uh, I got both mirrors put on. We got the chassis inspection plate installed. We got the new clutch cable installed along with the new Bowden tube and the six shooter, uh, air-cooled six shooter clutch adjustment nut in stainless steel. New accelerator cable installed. Uh, what else did we get done? We got the new swing axle boots installed. I got the reverse light switch wiring installed. And we finished up by uh, just installing that throw out bearing, which means where I'm sitting currently could be an engine, but it's not. So I might get to work on that tomorrow uh, and get that all ready to put back in the car. So we'll see what happens then. Arrivederci.